STEM to Story is a collection of lessons and workshops that are aimed at connecting science, technology, engineering, and math with creative writing. It uses really creative hooks to engage both students and teachers. So as students who may not think of themselves as science types have different ways to suddenly delve into science where it may not even look or feel like science initially. We have a lot of stuff on the agenda. So I want to start with our first activity. We started today with a brief uh, brainstorming activity about what types of superpowers do superheroes have that are super and what are their human powers, like empathy um, and respect for other people. As an arts educator, I wound up being in a room with a group of STEM educators. And they were talking about that they had had a hard time and were trying to find ways to engage students. And being from 826, and one of our things is engaging students in fun and creative ways. So all of these things are sounds, right? How we experience the world. And we're today in this workshop going to learn about how sound works. The lessons in STEM to Story are built off of student interest. So because we have such a wide range of things that are going on, you know, students may come in and they're interested in superheroes or they're interested in music. Maybe they're interested in math. They're interested in technology. They love fractals. They love songwriting. They love the zombie apocalypse. Our first time actually engaging students with the STEM to Story was we did the zombie apocalypse. Just the name zombie apocalypse. Right away they were very interested. Um, they wanted to, you know, oh, what are we going to do? Zombies? What is that? The zombie apocalypse or the zombie apocalypse uh, stem to story lessons um, kind of revolve around a fantasy world where there's a zombie apocalypse and uh, there's different lessons that put you in different scenarios. In some scenarios you're trying to build a shelter uh, to prevent the zombies from coming in. In some scenarios you're actually focusing on how the zombie virus itself is spreading. Um, and it's really cool because it's really relevant to the kids. They love the zombies, they love the games, and it's also really good because it integrates the actual STEM concepts very well, and I think their understanding uh, really benefited from that. We got divided into individual groups, and we made like escape pods, like a bridge and ships and zip lines. My favorite part of the workshop is probably the writing, because I can use my imagination whenever I want. When I first received STEM to Story, um, I really liked it a lot because there was a lot of lesson plans in there and they were really um, detailed with a lot of great pictures and there were a lot of good stories that we can use. The lesson plans were really relatable and had a lot of details and how to run it with you know the supplies and the time that you would need to be able to run the activities. So one of the things that I think is really unique about STEM to Story as compared to using a textbook in the classroom is that teachers can pick and choose from the different lessons and they stand alone. We've used a lot of different STEM lesson plans and curriculum in the past and all have been very good at communicating, you know, okay, here's what we want you to learn, here's some different concepts of science, technology, engineering, and math, but the engagement wasn't there and I think the real world buy-in wasn't there. STEM to Story is unique because it gets students instantly interested in something and it allows us to build literacy into our STEM projects, which is something we've been trying to do for a while, and in not a dry way at all where they just have to write things out. They actually get engaged with some fiction and some nonfiction, which is really cool, and the students really appreciate that. I would definitely recommend STEM to Story to other teachers, um, if not just for the organization, the layout, and how simple it is to follow and use. Also, just the results we saw with the students. They're very excited to do the science now. Um, they're very interested in the different concepts we've learned, and we've been able to take it a step further with a lot of them. And I think STEM to Story brings a way to really get young people engaged in both aspects of science and writing. And the more we do that, the better off we are. So if we can bring that to schools and invest in that, and school districts can make that investment in STEM the story, I think it's just gonna have positive outcomes for everybody.